Mama o akwaba. Wo frene ajua search me. Mesre o. Na wa subscribe to my channel. Mi a notification bell no so for more news. Ebu se afo. There's this video a e trend e wo internet no so. Woman bi a na wo kasa na woman no. O sukura wie yi. O chile se. Or your penny, but what's not say I know access in your maybe a twenty twenty four to Abama and this is all her dream. What do you psychiatric? I can hear you say, okay, what dream? Because she doesn't think fast, she does not think madness. And then some of my pen that I'm a hammer cake, who be a walk out in a few for eight good years are over. Can you mother be a son? Could what? My mate, let's say, and people are bam by Shahu Tom, they are brain. Even the economy, I'm a thing. I'm not going to say, yes, in your dear normal, but if you are seen it, a better call any Last eight years, I'm not for no more complaining. Say, we are saying a day no, yeah, buy a friend is saying 2024. Oh, come back, I said those days in there, yeah, but those days is not no watching the power. It's a yes, and they be moving forward. Dollar rating at the idea would come up, and that Mahama was here seriously. Yaka politics on to change, think a dollar rate and a switch at three cities with this COVID 19. They buy another idea, we are seeing the BIA. Hey, they don't politics, they say. Mami, the next case or catch is a free education. I'm about to go in here for. Now, so we buy a benefit free education. Teach you for free. I'm from Moko Free. Yes, 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 yes. I'm not talking about men. People, I'm not talking about men. This is what we're doing. This is the correct. Yes, yes, yes. Mami, a day, a two day. Seven December. I'm to. 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 I'm Baku SS, Nigna free free. Mimi de Manya free Nibiango. Minya free Nibiquoia, send a man on the bro for the ten. Come to office, baby. Eh? Yeah, yeah, mammy pencil. No, we are more to my friend that came on with their pump. I don't want to answer any yet. Secondary school. Mimi ba. What about to a bump and this, you know, no, I didn't yet do my. Because I say you were short memory. Don't mamma, what you can't get at the end of the time. Where the Adams in Ghana for our short memory, we have to show him that we are not short memory. Maybe mm. they say we are for education. We are in med lab or university. Second one, so we are so here accounting. That's your baby. It's not bank paper bill. Now for education, but me me bobo job bobo job. Ah, me yade man yes kanama mawako. Going to our watching. Basically, what we are going to do, we are going to beat the NDC in this election with a strategy that they will never understand. One that will shock them. One that would amaze them. You remember how before we came into 2024, they said we don't have a message and we cannot even go out to campaign. I'm sure you remember. Yeah. And then because they were there, they were the only ones. And I'm sure you remember how in about six weeks, Dr. Baumia pushed them into obliv oblivion. And now you can't find them anywhere. And that's till dates the Ghanaian people are struggling to understand what they represent and what the options they are. That's how we are going to beat the NDC. We are superior to the NDC. We have a, a, a flag bearer that is superior to John Mahama. A flag bearer that is more committed, honest, sincere. To the people of Ghana than John Mahama. John Mahama is disrespecting us by even thinking of coming to tell us that we should vote for him. He's disrespecting us. It's an insult to the people of Ghana for us to see him on TV and say, vote against these people and vote for me rather. You collapsed and sold 300 factories. We should vote for the people who have worked the private sector to bring 300 factories. We should vote against them and vote for you. You withdrew teacher and nurses allowance. You are telling us that vote against those who have restored teachers and nurses allowance and give it to me. You kept teachers and nurses who graduated at home, 2014, 15, 16. These people have come to keep them at, at post. You are saying that vote against the MPP, even though they brought these teachers and nurses to work, and vote for me who kept them at home. Teachers and nurses worked for a year. You paid them for three months. You are saying that the ones that is paying them for the time they are working should be voted out, and then you, who paid them for three months instead of one year, you should be voted for. It doesn't add up. You kept us in darkness for three years out of your four years. You are saying that the guys that kept power on for seven years, eight years in the Athena should be voted out for you. It doesn't add up. You constructed over just about 4,000 kilometers of road. You are saying that we should vote against the government that has constructed 12,000 kilometers of road and vote for you. It doesn't add up. This government has encountered challenges. The macroeconomic indicators are difficult, have been difficult in the past three, four years. But this government is working at it. What we are having, the conversation we are having with the people of Ghana is this. Let's protect the gains we have made. Let's protect the little efforts we've been able to, the little output we've been able to make whilst we pursue the outstanding ones. And that's why Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya proposes the bold solutions. The bold solutions encompasses 
protecting the gains, cons protecting and consolidating the gains we have made, at the same time proposing specific sector tailor-made solutions to all the issues confronting us in, in, in this country. And the people are receiving as well. It's resonating with the people because they don't trust Mahama. They believe in Dr. Mahmoud Bouamia. Mahama was vice president. He came to tell us in 2012 that he's a spare driver. You remember he said that mm. at the IEA debate. He said, I'm a spare driver. Make me the main driver and I will deliver you. Your colleague and then, says he's a mate as well. Exactly. A mate is far productive than the spare driver. Mm. Do you know what the spare drivers do? For those who go to church or ask your cameraman <laughs> in the production room, when you go to the church or station, mm -hmm. let me show you the setting. Mm -hmm. At the church or station, the critical people, there's a bookman. You know the bookman? Yes. Then there, there are mates and the drivers. You know there's a shed. Yeah. That shed where they play their draft and the ludu. So when, whilst you are loading, you are playing your draft and your ludu. Over there, there are two categories of people. There are the drivers who are driving the cars and the spare drivers. They, they're lazy around. They do nothing. The only time you see a spare driver do something is when a driver doesn't show up for work because he's not well. Or a driver has to do something and the spare driver will come and take your car temporarily and go. But do you know what happens to the mate? Whilst the driver is relaxing for his structure to be loaded, the mate is loading it. The mate is cleaning the car. The mate is washing the car. The mate is checking the oil. A mate is far productive to the effort of transport than a spare driver. So really take your time to analyze the situation. But that's the, just by the, beside the key point. The point here is that he said he's a spare driver. We should make him the main driver. We listened. We actually listened. And we made him a main driver. When he became main driver, what did he do to us? In fact, at the time when we went through challenges, which were domestically induced, I wouldn't say that governments do not encounter challenges. Every government will encounter challenges. But the difference between the good leader and the bad leader is that the good leader is not saying that there will be absence of challenges. But a good leader is the one that, in the presence of challenges and difficulties, is able to mobilize the people, work with them, to get them out on the, on, on the path of prosperity and progress. When he encountered challenges, when we were in energy crisis, when doctors were asking for better conditions of service, when nurses, the poor parents were asking for support for their children to go to school, he told the poor people in this country that if you only vote for me on the basis of the restoration of your nurses and teachers allowance, then I'll ask you to vote against me. He told the doctors that he's not ready to negotiate with them on anything. At a time when we didn't have power, he was increasing electricity. When we told him that it's becoming too expensive, even though it's not there, he said if it's becoming too expensive, stop charging your phone. That is that fine difference between John Mahama and Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. We have a government that says that, yes, we acknowledge that there are challenges. The economic indicators have, haven't been easy, but we beg you. We have to take some hard pills now to be able to get ourselves out of this once and for all. Mm. Shall we look at these solu solutions? We need to do debt, debt restructuring, please. You need to let go a certain portion of your assets. It is just to save the state. We need to come back on our feet. And this government has been working day and night, day and night, slowly, to try to get us out of it. You are saying that we should get this government out and bring you. You who encounter, tell me, what was the global economic challenges we encountered in 2013, 14, 15, and 16 that warranted the difficulties we went through? We didn't have power, simply because we had generators, but had no money to buy fuel to power the generators. The same that was challenge all. we're facing now. No, we are not. The same challenge we faced for 10 weeks. The same challenge we faced for 10 weeks. So that's the same challenge, and you are right. For 10 weeks. Why would you let go a government that put you through that challenge for 10 weeks for a government that put you through for three years? That is why Ghanaians don't trust him. That poor woman that you left her child at home for not accessing senior high school is the one going to vote against you. That senior high school, that basic school dropout, who wanted to go to school so bad but couldn't go because the parents were poor and she had to fall for teenage pregnancy, is going to vote against you and her child will vote against you. That is a reality. And it's very disrespectful and insulting for him to come back to us and come and ask us for our vote. And this is what the NDC does. They do this in every election. President Kufo brought this country out of oblivion. Brought the country up to a certain level in 2008, where Ghana was called the gateway to Africa. In fact, we were said that we were in the golden age of business. Banks used to come to our homes to come and beg us to come and take loans. He brought national health insurance. He brought free maternal care. He made basic education free by bringing capitation and topped it up with giving them free school.